<laughs> we back, baby. Let's go. What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new reaction. That feels that feels good to say. I haven't been able to record. Haven't been able to do anything like this entire week because my internet's been out. Strictly because AT and T is the worst company of all time. Yes, your internet is trash. Your customer service is even worse. I had a technician come to my house, look at the stuff, and go, "There's nothing wrong with this." Then I go, "Then why ain't the internet working?" He goes. I don't know. He walks outside, gets in his van, and leaves and just never comes back. So, yeah. So today, we're watching 20 Secrets Buckingham Palace is Hiding from Strangers. Buckingham Palace is one of, like, one of the more famous places in the UK. You know, it's a big tourist attraction. Everybody wants to go there, you know, take pictures in front of it, see the changing of the guards and all that. But just like every other government building, there's going to be secrets. And I bet Lizzie has to do with about 80% of these. So, yeah, it should be pretty good. <laughs> So we're about to get into it. Go into the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Try to hit 100k once you do get a UK theme tattoo. Drop a like if you want to see more reactions like this. Feels good to be back. So uh, yeah, y'all get ready for a lot of videos. But other than that, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is. Oh, <laughs> let's get into it. I'd really be cracking myself up, huh? <laughs> Ever dreamed about living in a palace? Like Buckingham Palace, for example? Well, oh, yeah. that's a nice place, so why not? This ostentatious home is pretty old and huge, but the location is close to schools and shopping. And besides Wait, that, it was made in 1703? Jeez. It's got a lot of interesting secrets. When you learn about them, you'll get a glimpse of what it's like to live there. So, counting down from number 20, a whopping number of rooms. Whopping, as it's used here, means boatload, overabundance, and of course, glut. We all know that Buckingham huh. Palace is huge, but just to help you comprehend its size, get Damn. ready for this information. It has 775 rooms. This number includes over 200 bedrooms. Honestly, I can't even imagine so many rooms in one building. Yeah, for, I'm, I'm sitting here, this, we got three bedrooms, and this is a bit bigger house, like 700 Gs. How many kids are they gonna have? At least now I understand why they need so much cleaning staff. Yeah, for I real. can't help but wonder how everyone who lives there doesn't get lost. Is there some sort of map that helps them navigate around? Ooh, that's a question. Number 19. No waiting in line. Well, since Buckingham Palace has so many rooms, obviously there should be a lot of bathrooms, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, it has 78 bathrooms. Way too many toilets to clean. On the That's a lot of pooping, bro. <laughs> like, for real. 78? Yo. You know, they say no waiting in line, but what if 78 people eat, eat a bad taco or something, and they all gotta go? There could be a line. Just like that. Just like that. One bad taco could mess the whole system up. Side, <laughs> and we are. If there's any kind of royal function, none of the guests have to wait in line no matter how large the event is. Number 18, ATM in the basement. You know, All right, sometimes now that's bougie. That, that's bougie as hell. Like, an ATM in the basement? Come on now. You need to get cash fast. So you go to the bank or start looking for an ATM. Yeah. But if you're a member of the royal family, you can forget about all that hassle. All you have to do is go to the basement of Buckingham Palace because there's an ATM right there. How I bet they don't even got service fees, do they? Like, if me or you go find an ATM... And it's not, like, within our bank or whatever. Well, at least it is in America. I don't know how it is in the UK. But, like, if I go to the ATM and it's not within, like, my, my bank's branches or whatever, it charges me, like, $3 every $10 I pull out. So, like, if I want $30, I'm going to pay $39 to get my 30 bucks. Like, that's how it is. So, But, no, I bet Lizzie... No, nah, Lizzie ain't getting no damn service fee. <laughs> Union. Number 17. Moving chandeliers. In the time before electricity... It was a real challenge for the staff of Buckingham Palace to clean all the huge chandeliers. They had to teeter on ladders trying to reach them. But now, everything is much easier. Thanks to technology, chandeliers can be lowered to a manageable level simply by pressing a button on the remote control. That's fire. 16. A fully equipped doctor's office. Dang. In case of any medical emergency, the members of the royal family usually go to a hospital where sense. they're treated by the best doctors in the country. But if there's a situation that prevents them from doing so, they don't have to worry because they can receive treatment without leaving the palace. Yeah, I, I, was, the I, I was forgetting that this is the royal family. I was like, damn, why do they have 
a whole ass medical staff. It's the royal family. All right. <laughs> the doctor's office located there is even equipped for surgical procedures. Whoa. 15. The largest private garden in London. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No. Can you imagine using one of the 78 bathrooms and then right next door somebody's getting having surgery? That's wild. <laughs> Imagine 30 football fields, and you'll get the idea about the size of the palace garden that stretches for 39 acres. Yo. So, in this football analogy, that makes the palace into the luxury boxes overlooking the 30 football fields. Oh, never mind. Bro, I did not know it had that much yard, or garden, or whatever. Yo, 39 acres? That's a hey, you could be growing some corn, some beans, something like that on there. Come on, <laughs> I need Lizzie on a tractor ASAP. <laughs> um, the garden is divided into three main parts Harrison's, which includes the massive lawn, a rose garden, where you can find a famous 15 foot Waterloo vase or vase, Dang. and see 25 varieties of England's national flower, and the yard, which is a less manicured area. Number 14. Hey, yeah. Beans, they, they'll grow. They'll grow right there in the yard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Secret River. Ooh. The River Tyburn flows under the south wing of the palace, huh? revealing the fact that the building was set up on swampland. Of course, it doesn't mean that part of the palace is floating on water, but a river runs through it, or at least underneath it, adding to the uniqueness of the royal residence. What? Hold on, how? There's a river underneath it? So you're telling me if I cut a hole in one of those 78 bathrooms, I can fish and poop at the same time? <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Post office. You probably already have the idea that Buckingham Palace isn't simply a building, but more like a mini town. Yeah, for real. Since the royalty can get pretty much any service there. Not even a mini town, it's a whole ass town. And yes, that includes the mail. Since the queen is the queen, using a regular post office isn't an option for her. That's why her palace has its own post office. Um, she needs to be reading my letter I sent her about, you know, I, don't, I don't even know. When we filmed that, like in a month ago? Lizzie, get back to me, jeez. Pretty cool. Um, speaking of mailing, number 12, zip code. Usually zip codes are assigned to specific neighborhoods. But when it comes to Buckingham Palace, everything seems to be an exception. This truly massive place has its own zip code. Dang. If you ever feel like writing a letter to the Queen, or maybe sending her some cute gift, here it is. SW1A1AA. See, y'all's zip codes are completely different than ours. Like, my zip code is just numbers. Like, and I think pretty much all of Kentucky, I'm not for sure, y'all don't, don't check me on this, but I'm pretty sure like, Pretty much all of Kentucky, the zip codes start with four. So like there's no letters in our zip code. So like the SW1A, that's confusing as hell to me. <laughs> Just don't address it to Liz. Number 11, spooky neighbor. It seems like any building that's really old has to have a ghost or two. The same goes for the palace. The site where the royal residence is located now was once occupied by a monastery. And some believe that's the reason why the place is haunted by the ghost of a monk who used to live in that monastery. Do you think it might be true? <laughs> Sound off in the comments. Hey, you know what that tells me? Me, Lizzie, maybe somebody else, I don't know, a couple other people of the royal family. Ghost hunting video. Let's do it! <laughs> Let's make it happen! Number 10. Labyrinth of Secret Tunnels. Some used to say that there's a secret tunnel that connects Buckingham Palace and London too. It's just a rumor, but the royal residence does have tunnels. There's a whole underground system of passageways <laughs> that allows getting from Buckingham Palace to Clarence House, as well as the House of Parliament. This system serves for security purposes, obviously. But I wonder if the Queen ever used it just because she didn't feel like using a car to get to those places. Oh, yeah. Maybe they have a golf cart that runs her around. Number 9. It wasn't originally built for kings and queens. Now this one might surprise you, but before the palace turned into the building we know it as today, it was just a three-story blockhouse owned by John Sheffield, the Duke of Buckingham. 
Oh, John. In 1761, King George III decided to buy it for 21,000 pounds, which is now around $5 million, which is still a steal. Jesus! And started the process of transforming the estate into a magnificent sanctuary for his wife, Queen Charlotte. However, the first monarch who named it as their official residence was Queen Victoria. She did it after her coronation in 1837. Dang. Number 8. Unexpected Visitor During the long history of Buckingham Palace, there were a few cases of ordinary people sneaking inside. In 1838, a 14-year-old Edward Jones made his first successful attempt to get in there. He was caught, and it turned out that the boy stole some items from Queen Victoria's wardrobe. A few years later... See, like, it's one thing to break and enter. Now you're in there stealing? Damn. Did it again two more times. During the last time, he was found hiding under a sofa and got arrested. What the heck? <laughs> Number 7. Is anybody home? If you ever visit London and find yourself near the palace, you can find out in no time if the queen is at home. When she's there, the royal standard flag is flown over her residence. And when Her Majesty is out, the union flag. Huh. Every time the queen arrives or departs, a special person called a flag sergeant changes the flags. Number That'd six. That'd be like the easiest job ever, bro. Like, they just call you, hey, Lizzie just pulled up to the crib. All right. All right, my job's done until she leaves again. Like, what? <laughs> TikTok's everywhere. Huh? As you can guess, the queen and all uh, other members of the royal family. I thought, I thought Lizzie was out here hitting the, hitting the, what's that? The renegade. <laughs> pretty packed up schedule. That's why it's so important for them to know the right time in order not to be late. This most likely explains the number of clocks in Buckingham Palace. Over 350. Dang. And there's even a special person to look after them. A clock master, whose duty is to wind them all up every week. Hey, yeah, he and could be real, like, devious and, like, set everyone just a little off. Like, a minute fast, a minute slow. He could, he could really mess some people up. <laughs> Boy, he better not be late. Number 5. The Number of Visitors Obviously, when you're the queen, you just have to host a lot of events and functions. More than 50,000 guests visit Buckingham Palace every year. Dang. Just one typical garden party hosts around 8,000 guests. To feed them all, the staff has to serve 27,000 cups of tea, 20,000 sandwiches, and 20,000 slices of cake. Dang. Wait, let's pencil that out. Hmm, carry the three. So, each guest receives three and a half cups of tea and two and a half sandwiches and pieces of cake. Well, you won't go away hungry. No! Four. Tours for ordinary people. If you doubt the queen will invite you to one of her parties anytime soon, you can Damn. always take That's a tour said in my letter. Dang. of Buckingham Palace. Usually, visitors are allowed only for a couple months a year, from the end of July to September, because this is the time when the queen is away. How convenient. However, there's another way for you to see what this splendid building hides. You can take a 360-degree tour online and check out the throne room, picture gallery, and ballrooms without leaving your home. I'm pretty sure we uh, did that, didn't we? I think we did that on the channel. I'm, I might, it might have been somewhere else, but I'm pretty sure we did it. I'm thinking the 78 bathrooms aren't on the tour. Dang. Number 3. Oldest helicopter pad in London. Well, kind of. In 1953, a helicopter landed in the palace garden for the first time. What the heck? And since then, that spot served as a helicopter landing area without any special construction for many years. <laughs> but in 2000, the royal family finally decided to build an official helipad because they'd had enough of the lawn being destroyed <laughs> by the helicopter. I was about to say, helicopter. before that, they were like, yeah, just land her in the backyard. <laughs> the helipad was created from a layer of matting underneath grass because a concrete one was considered mm, not pleasing to the eye. True. Number 2. Not a crumb goes to waste. Sitting at work and can't wait to get home and eat those pizza leftovers from yesterday? Well, the royal family does pretty much the same thing. Of course, they employ the best chefs who cook delicious meals for them and the guests every day. But if there were leftovers from a meal, they'd be stored away in a fridge and reused in a meal the following day. Good. 
See, number one. And they could be just really out here just cooking all this gourmet stuff and then whatever doesn't get eaten, just throwing it away. At least they're reusing it. Fine. Birth announcement. As you probably know, England is known for its love of traditions. And even though we're living in the digital era, when the news from all over the world fits on your smartphone, the royal family still follows a really old custom. When there's a royal birth, they place an official announcement outside the main entrance of the palace huh. to let everybody know if it's a boy or a girl, and the weight of the newborn as well. That's pretty cool. So, which of those secrets impressed you the most? Out of all that, I'm still trying to see what one of them 78 toilets look like. <laughs> but alright guys, that is going to do it for today's reaction. 20 secrets Buckingham Palace is hiding from strangers. How the hell, how is there a river underneath the building? Like, I, d I don't know. That's <laughs> Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video down in the comments. If you want to see more reactions like this, let me know by hitting that like button. If y'all new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100k once we do me a UK theme tattoo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure I got today. Spread love, spread kindness, do something like somebody today. I love you guys so much. I really do. Shake your reaction. I'm out. Peace.